And finally, the door has opened. This is it, guys. As long as the lasers don't glitch out and make me go oof, we will be hitting 100 million cash. So I'm currently here inside of the jailbreak yard, and you can see over here at the upper right hand corner at my money, 99,951,000 cash, okay? I am so stinking close to getting 9 digits in my cash, alright? So today, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Got a bacon girl all over here. Bacon girl, do you wanna give me a key card? Uh, thanks for the key card, bacon girl. Now, don't arrest me. I just gotta, like, escape jail, you know what I mean, and go get my money. Uh-oh. There's a try-hard looking cop. Don't come get me, try-hard looking cop. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, spawn myself a Bugatti here, just like usual, because that's how the new update works. We don't care about the Camaro and all that, like, junk car over there. All we gotta do is bring out our mobile garage and spawn ourselves a good vehicle. So it looks like jewelry store was just robbed, so that means we're gonna have to go rob the bank. Okay, so bank looks like it is, in fact, wide open, but there's a, like, rule in this game. We never go to the bank without having any weapons. Okay, now, if people would stop ramming into me and actually pay attention to where to going that would be great okay so first thing we gotta do is come over here to the police station and get ourselves some weapons so first door on the list is over here at the bank okay looks like we've got a presidential vault which would be pretty cool that means a lot of police officers won't be able to make it in here since half of them go oof okay because a lot of people really don't like this vault now it could be over here lazy creek craft and like open up all of these uh, saves here but i think uh yeah that's a criminal in here i heard the bank door open up no police notification so now the vault is wide open let's go ahead and start making our way through key is to basically just zigzag your way inside over here and now we're inside in the middle of these two lasers and we can just wait here and goof around all right so now we're at five down on cash we're gonna go ahead and start marking our way outside of the uh, bank so we're gonna go ahead and wait for the lasers to pass and here we go let's go ahead and actually just uh, run in here because it actually is possible to sneak by and go back out of the entrance okay i do hear police officers what well, sounds like cops over here uh can i please go on the ladder okay uh oh don't do it don't do it don't do it, police officer. Be nice to me, please. Please don't arrest me. Please don't arrest me. I'm trying to get my money here. Perfect. He's not going to be evil to me. Okay, and I'm going to go and rearrange my guns. We're going to use the shotgun me, number two. And now we can go ahead. Oh, that is the evil cop. Blooper man over here is the evil cop, I see, okay? He says, use their OMG. He was the guy that was arresting everyone over there. You can see the entire chat was just him getting, like, a bunch of people in prison. Okay, so hopefully he doesn't be mean to me. I'm actually going to, you know... If I be nice to him, he should be nice to me. So I'll go ahead and be nice to him, okay? Because I figured that out, okay? Looks like we got ourselves. Uh, is that a criminal? Yes, that is. Okay, someone's over here at the museum. So let's go ahead and come rob it. Hey, the salad hair. Salad hair, what you doing? Salad, what are you doing? Come rob the museum. Come rob the museum, salad hair. What are you doing? Pull it. Why are you not robbing the museum, salad hair? This is why salad hairs are not too good at this game, okay? Despite them looking so, like, try-hard and, like, super spoiled... He's not even pulling the lever. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, the girl default skin over here is playing better than the salad hair. That's kind of sad. Okay, that just shows you. Looks don't matter. The person that looks like a noob can be a pro. And the person that looks like a pro can be a noob. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead. And uh, there we go. We got our stuff to money over here. And we can go ahead and come and do the puzzles. All right, so once again, just standing over here in the museum. The one other player in the museum is just standing over there doing literally nothing. Six and a half hours later. All right, finally, they pulled the museum. Holy cow. How many jailbreak players does it take to rob a museum? I don't know, but certainly a lot. Okay, so now we go ahead and go all the way over here to the criminal base and go collect our money. And I believe I saw a jewelry store and a train go by in the museum. So sadly, we can't really rob a train because stinking people just can't pull the museum. And finally, here we go. Let's go ahead and just parachute all the way inside of the criminal base. Hopefully no one's camping here. Looks like there's no police officers. So that means we can go ahead and get ourselves 7,680 cash. And now we are down to 35,000 more cash. Cash. So basically that's all the stores inside of the game robbed once and then maybe like another museum and another train So jewelry store was just robbed So that means we're gonna go ahead and come back all the way over here to the bank since uh, it took that long for people to figure out how to do the museum And this time we got ourselves deductions, which is like 1,000 less cash than the other floor was I kind of really want a mint in here But the Simo gonna just give me whatever he wants and at least it's not the uh, default classic one that only gets 3,000 and finally now we're at 3,500 cash We can go ahead and start making our way outside of the bank. We're not gonna go out the other exit because it tends to make a lot of people go oof so we're gonna go ahead and just
just come out this way. And here we go. Got some people inside. Uh, do they even want to go rob the bank? I don't even know what they're doing. They really don't want to rob it. Okay, that's fine with me. Okay, why is this helicopter over here locked? Okay, it looks exactly like mine. These helicopters need to have better, like, identification thing, my jig. Alright, looks like the train has, like, plenty of red cars. So, clearly not a scammy train. Now, the only thing is, I wish you could rob this train multiple times. Because I really dislike it that a SEMO made it only so you can rob one time. And, seriously... Stop making the train come this way. How many times do I have to say this? This is the most inefficient way for the train to pass, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click this thing so next time it goes all the way over here. But yeah, this is the most annoying thing. Even more annoying than when people don't pull the museum. Well, maybe just as annoying as that, but still. Making the train stop basically makes it so that you can't get any money from it. Alright, now the train's starting to move again. Let's go ahead and just run inside and get ourselves some money. You have to wait, like, so long. And you could, like, go rob some other stores like Bad CC and Asimo instead of waiting for the train. But yeah, anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and just chill in here and get ourselves 4,000 cash. Alright, so now we're at 4,000 cash. We're gonna go ahead and make it out of here. Okay, the museum is literally right here. I believe it just opened up. So we can go ahead and just come on over here and get ourselves a, a Bugatti real quick. And so here we go, Bugatti, and load in our in, should have our maximum level engine as well and now we can go ahead and just run all the way over here and we can just uh jump up along here because it's a quick way to get up we don't have to drive around and museum please be open looks like they already took all the stuff inside of the uh, glass thing over there so i'm gonna go ahead and uh hopefully not go oof because these people have already took the paintings as well come on stop stealing me museum monies okay i need monies from the museum okay did they take the mummy already did they take the mummy? No. Perfect. Okay, now all I want is this mummy. Okay, perfect. We got the mummy. We're gonna grab the mask and hopefully another dinosaur bone or something like that to fill in the last slot. I heard both sides open up. Okay, come on. Three, two, one. Pull the lever. Boom. Finally, people are pulling the lever without being told to. That's a good thing, okay? Compared to last robbery, yeah, it's a big, big, big difference. Last robbery, that took, like, well over five minutes just to get somebody to pull the lever. All right, here we go. Now we can go ahead and just come on over here. And, of course, somebody parks their helicopter and blocks the way, okay? Helicopter, please be unlocked. Ooh, helicopter's unlocked. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead, change it. I really wish the SEMO would just auto-change the skin whenever you spawn a vehicle from the garage or you open it up because that will make it so much easier. And you won't have to just, like, spam it over and over again. But, yeah, anyway... Here we go, got ourselves our money. This guy got a gun. This guy got a gun. That's not good. All right, he's down here somewhere. Okay, please don't. Oh, we got him. All right, he is toast. Now we are less than 20,000 cash away from getting a hundred freaking million cash inside of this game. This is gonna be so exciting. So I don't think the jewelry store has opened up yet. So we're gonna go ahead and broke CC over here. Please don't be broke. I want some monies and I kind of need it to get ourselves to a hundred million cash. All right, broke CC looks like he's not broke today. That is a good sign. So we should probably also come on over here to the Asimo 39 store because Asimo should not be broke today. Please, Asimo, don't be broke mo all right i want your money and i kind of need it and it looks like the is also um not broke today okay kind of like it that nobody's robbing the small stores anymore okay even though they've had their cash increase so now fifteen thousand more cash and we should be at our target of a hundred freaking million cash and jewelry store looks like yes it is wide open here there's a police officer camping yeah, not camping today. Okay, let's go ahead and start the robbery. All right, so now we have ourselves 4,000 cash, so that means we're gonna go ahead and come over here and grab, like, the remainder from these uh, crystals here. I do have a donut just in case we take a lot of damage inside and uh, we can heal up. So let's go ahead and just uh, come on over here, grab our uh, jewels just like that. 5,000 cash. Okay, ho hopefully nobody grabs this jewel. Okay, perfect, and we can go ahead. They push me. They freaking push me. Stop pushing. Let me jump on your head. Here we go. Finally. Okay, now we can go ahead. Just run all the way over here through these uh, cameras and lasers. Okay, that donut definitely came in handy because people really should stop pushing or Simo should just turn off collisions between players. Anyway, now we're at the top. I hear a cop. There's a bacon hair cop over there. Not cool, bacon hair. Bad, bad, bad bacon. Yeah, I see that bad bacon. I think that's Jeffy over here. But yeah, anyway, now we have ourselves 6,000 cash. And we are now 10,000 cash away from getting this, okay? Please don't arrest me, Bacon Hair. Please don't be bad, stinking bacons. Don't be a bad, stinking bacon hair. I don't want to deal with some filthy camping cops today. All right, now we got ourselves the train over here. Why are people making the trains go in the wrong direction? You guys, like, yeah, that does not make any sense. 
You make a passenger train stop and you make the regular train go continuous. It's simple as that. The default configuration is the best configuration. And finally now, over here at the criminal base, we can finally drive all the way over here and get ourselves our 4,800 cash. And that means we are down to less than 5,000 cash. So it's basically one more jewelry store, another museum. We're probably gonna go ahead and go check out on the bank. All right, so next robbery here is gonna be the bank. Now there's one toxic bank in here going around arresting people. But now we have a presidential vault that is a pretty much 5,000 cash thing. Because whenever you factor in like the VIP and everything like that, it will carry us over 100 million cash right now. You guys are witnessing it right here, guys. After this bank robbery, we should be at exactly 100 million cash. That is freaking excited. So let's go ahead and go into the bank fall. Oh shoot, there's a cop right over here. There is a cop right over there. No, 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 no. You are not coming in and arresting me, okay? Not today, Mr. Xbox player. All right, anyway, now all we gotta do, come over here, please be oofed. Please be oofed, okay, perfect. The cop is gone, okay? This time, I'm gonna escape the safe route, okay? We're gonna take this way. I'm not gonna risk myself going over there because there's potentially some camping cops back there. And finally, the door has opened. This is it, guys. As long as the lasers don't glitch out and make me go oof, we will be hitting 100 million cash. Not 100,000, but 100 freaking million cash. Just like that. That is a huge milestone for us. In two years of jailbreak release, we have went from being a broke 200 cash bacon hair to going over 100 million. Everybody in the chat is freaking out. And just to make things nice and round, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the remainder of the 280 cash that I have. Actually, 1,280 now. It used to be 920, something like that. But you can see now, exactly 100 million. How cool is that? That is freaking lit, all right? So I guess I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed this, Bacon Man gets 100 million cash inside of Jailbreak. Be sure to press like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what other things you guys want me to do in Jailbreak. And I will see you guys next time.